In most cases, beneficiaries of the project are only conversant with the fact that the projects are financed with consolidated funds from different sources and therefore have no knowledge of the fact that oil revenues have been allocated for their ultimate benefit. For instance, the bitumen surfacing of a 21.4 kilometer Tadevu Devergo Agove Junction feeder road is said to have received over 13 million Ghana cities from petroleum revenues in 2016, but information from the feeder roads in the region showed that a total of about 24.7 million had been certified for the project, which was yet to be completed. The total amount is about 77% of the total cost of the project. The operations manager of the feeder roads Volta region, Edward Asenso, in an interview, clarified the contract details. It's a project that was uh, awarded to First, uh, Science Sarah Limited and it's scheduled for completion by uh, 7th of October 2017. Currently, we are on the primer cell, which means that the contractor is done with clearing of the road, filling the formation covers and drainage works, then uh, uh, subbies and these are also completed, and the primer cell is also completed. GH1 News set out to track some oil revenue funded projects and uncovered that budgetary allocated did not necessarily translate into actual execution of the project. Citizens also had not shown interest to know the source of funding of such projects in the communities and were not able to monitor and demand accountability from government. I haven't seen any projects started or being done on that road before. I'm even shocked to hear that oil money has gone into that project. Because we push it, we push the project. Because we need that, that road to be upgraded, please. But there is nothing, nothing has been done. The Petroleum Revenue Management Act clearly states that the Minister of Finance is expected to publish the status of implementation of oil-funded projects annually, but this provision has always been done at the higher level of priority areas, but not in detailed projects. Again, there is little information on oil-funded projects from the government that encourages public discussions and input of the citizenry. And this is a challenge that the Petroleum Revenue Information System seeks to address.